Get ready for the Squawking Eagles podcast. The show that covers only the Philadelphia Eagles. Think different. Think Squawking Eagles podcast. Good morning, Birds fans, and welcome to the Squawking Eagles podcast. I am Mike, and I'm joined again by Miguel and Instagram user, I mean, Mark. How's it going? (laughs) Birds Day. It's good times. This Triple yeah. M show is in town, guys. Here it is. M&M's and M's. Mm-hmm. M's and M's all around here. Uh, yeah, so we're back. Uh, this is Giants week. We are... Barkley uh, Sanders. Barkley Sanders, a Penn State a Penn State matchup here of running backs, Penn State running, running backs. Um, I don't think we have to talk too much about the Titans game at all because we all kind of know how that went. Uh, we know we just... Blow we out! destroyed them uh i think it made us it was a statement so we'll talk a little bit about that game hey we beat them so bad they fired the gm that traded away aj brown let's just put it that way like wow what, remember what though, first remember place they're team? not they're not a real team like they're not having a good season as always right they're, they're in last baby. place they're, they're in last place right? and yeah 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 you know it's a I mean, and Eric Henry only had like what thirty some yards rushing or something yep. like that. Yep. Like, yeah, it that's bad. it. Yeah, 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 that's you know the the whole the whole thing about the Eagles only playing uh, soft teams. You know, the Titans were a first place team. They were first place in their in their division. They you sure know, King were. Henry was you know running rampant, and all of a sudden, brick wall. <laughs> well, as I've said before, that game. Who ended their leading rusher? Now, granted, again, like I said, this has exceptions for teams with running, you know, quarterbacks. But yeah. the leading rusher, of the Titans, happened to be Ryan Tannehill. That's not right. Not their game plan. Not Maybe they messed plan. up. I don't know. You know I what? Know. It's uh, Vrabel. He tripped. He stubbed his toe. You know, the <laughs> Eagles didn't deserve that win. That's just no. you know. Yeah. I yeah. do. You guys saw. I, I just gotta pop in here real quick. You guys saw that um, the ESPN Super Bowl projections, right? Yes, fifty percent, fifty percent for the Cowboys. Fifty percent Cowboys. Thirty percent no, Eagles. Wow. <laughs> no, hold on. The Cowboys have a thirty-one percent chance to win it. The Eagles have a thirty percent chance to make it. Yeah. Wow! Do you must have been a Cowboys, ESPN, must have been like, a Cowboys fan really, that did it. It has to be. Yeah, I'm like, bro. I'm, I'm like, a... come on, come on. Like, you're gonna. Uh, I mean, I get the love for Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen as much as I like to to harp on them. You're gonna give the Cowboys. An eight and four is eight and four Cowboys now. Is that their is that their current standing yeah. record? No, they don't have eight. They don't have four losses. I don't think. Yeah, they don't. Uh, is, is it three? Eight, is it eight, nine and three? three? Okay, they're nine and three. My apologies. Three. They're gonna be eight and four in a, in a week or so. I you know <laughs> I'm predicting. I don't know. Well, I guess it would be an eight. At least you know in two I mean. weeks. Who are they playing this week? Ah, uh, the games this week. I'm a little behind today. The they oh, that's a win for them. They're playing the Texans. If they lose today. I was gonna say they might lose Ooh. that. They might be overlooking yeah, that game. That's a trap game. That's a could be a trap right. game for them, like for them boys. I know uh, they were like a plus twenty two hundred, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, the you know the, the fact that they they fired their general manager after a a, a giant loss after that, uh, and they're in first place. It's not like you know they were in last place and then they they have the worst record in division. They've got the best record in their own division there, and they've still fired the general manager. A.J. Yeah. Brown man looked bad. That's why. Stupid, that, that, that's crazy. exactly what it was. It's like, how how could you trade that guy away? If we would have had him, we would have had a better offense. Yeah, for so that, sure. That's exactly why they got rid of him. But they did also pick up uh, Burks, their, their young guy. He was, yeah, uh, it was pre- pretty much that's who they picked with the draft pick the Eagles gave them, Traylon right. Burks. Yeah. So and the Eagles knocked him out of the game. He was knocked him out of the game. He's only played seven games this year, too. Ooh, turf wow. toe with this, turf toe with that. Concussion. Oh, I don't know who was a cowboy. Who? Nothing. No, <laughs> so. Don't, don't uh, use the C word on here. Right. We, we try not to talk about those guys. Uh, so, like, you know, all around, you know, the, the the game before, you know, the Packers game, the Eagles just ran all over the Packers, and they decided, you know what? We're just going to pass all over the Titans, and you know the Eagles can beat you on the ground. They can beat you on the in the in the air, um, but still, only qual. It can only maybe maybe thirty percent chance of making it to the Super Bowl. Sure, makes sense. Makes sense. Good job, ESPN. Yeah. 
I, I don't get it. Uh, so there's that. And um, it was, you know, uh, granted, I, I, I wanted to see them run the ball. You know, I think Miles Sanders only had a handful of yards. Like, I, I would have liked to see more. I think this week when they play the Giants, it has to be a more balanced attack. I mean, I need to see at least 75% run and 50, uh, 25% pass. I, I don't see it. I don't want to see a, you know, 90% pass. I don't want to see 90% run, really, either. But deep down, you know I do. Deep down, I want to see a 90% run. I know yeah. Miguel was smiling that whole game. Like, Mark's an idiot. The NFL <laughs> hates Mark right now. He says run the ball on every team. So you know what, guys? Stop running the ball. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know. Although, I want to know. Do you got a question? Do you guys think Jalen Hurts was, like, a little, like, one slant away from a 400 yard game. Was there something in the back of his head like it was close? 100 yards, but it yeah. was it was close. But he was also this close to getting a concussion on that one hit he took. Yeah, so, he took a bit he, of a hit. He only got yeah. hit three times. I think they said he only got hit three times, and it was only well, like that one. He got hit pretty good. He he looked a little wobbly waking up, uh, getting up. But I'm yeah. like, oh. He was probably waking yeah. up. He was probably waking up too. You're right. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Just like we are. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that was that was a fun game to watch. Uh, Anthony was at that game too. He went back to back games on me. He went to Packers nice. with me, and then he went to Titans game back nice. to back. Yeah. My 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 brother had a theory on um, on King Henry here. Yeah. He's like King King Henry hasn't been the same since he got rid of the one long Dookie braid that he had in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so. So shout out to my brother Chris. He pointed it out. The 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 power of King Henry has been um has cut. been stolen. Cut. <laughs> it was cut. He's got the, the, long, the long skinny braid now. So hey, the you one know what? Powerful skinny braid he does not have anymore. He, that could be very possible. Very possible. Right. It's thrown off his balance. Yeah. Except he's a power he's in power. existence. Right. He's gonna go down to uh Jacksonville. Uh-oh, on your Jags. My Jags. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's uh that could that might hurt. So yeah, I, let's I, focus, I let's focus on this G-Man today. <laughs> so, you know, uh, the Giants. Saying. The Giants. We have the Giants today. Daniel Daniel Dimes, Saquon. Dimes. White Vic. Dan- White Vanilla Vic. Vic. Vanilla, Vanilla Vic. Vic. Vanilla Vic. Uh, yeah, this game, you know, I, you know, again, I'm just looking past it because it's the Giants. Like, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't look past this game. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Why? This game is important. Look, we Dallas is hot on our heels. We got Dallas in two weeks. We got Chicago next week, and we got Dallas afterwards. We, we gotta hope. Well, I don't think the Texans, like we mentioned before we started the pod, we don't think the Texans can beat uh, Dallas. But should they beat them today, you know, that guarantees us a uh, home field advantage. So we need to lock up this division, um, make sure that the, um, the Cowboys don't make a run and and try to dethrone us from uh, that first seed. Because if, not, if, if we can't beat Dallas, we have to wait till the end of the season to find out if we get that first round by. Yeah. Well, if, with the yeah. Eagles win today, they clinch a playoff spot with a win right. today. So that's that's important. That's, that, that's very much important today. Mm-hmm. And you know that three, to play for. three game road streak. We're not our three three game road game. Yeah, three and, games in a row in road. Yes. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna lose one of them, and Dallas is is that one that I, we can't afford to lose either. Right. You know, we we have trouble against Prescott a lot of the times, and uh, you know. Um, Thankfully, they're not picking up Odell, and we'll talk. We'll probably talk about Odell. Yeah, a little bit Odell's on the on the on the on the block here. We got to talk about them. Yeah, yeah, definitely do. But being that they didn't sign him, I don't see anybody signing him. So I'll say that. Mark, Giants, Eagles. What do you say? You know. <laughs> it's it's an interesting game. If we do our play our cards right, we suddenly have a tie at the bottom of the division again. I'm okay with that. We gotta win. Winning like right now it's a win and you're in, which is nice. You know, granted, we don't 
we can literally like win any game for the rest of the season and when we're in the playoffs, which is nice. You know, it's nice to know that week 14, we're like, hey, we got this. <clears throat> it's in it's in our control. There's no other question left on the board. Doesn't matter what anyone else says, how the refs play. It is currently in our control whether or not we make the playoffs. Right. Makes me happy. Beginning of the season, you know, preseason, like I'm talking like way back in the spring. I was talking to the team. I was kind of unsure about this season, as we all know. Preseason, I felt really skeptical because I went through, did all the predictions, and I kept seeing us with 12, 13 wins. And I'm like, ah, like, I, I don't like, obviously, I want that kind of season. But when, I, when I'm when i like preseason predicting it, I don't like that. I don't yeah. like it. I, I like to I like to be made optimistic by a per, high performing team. And not optimistic because that's just how I felt beginning of the season. So I was a little, little, you know, leery coming up on it. But hey, we're we're eleven wins now. Okay, we're playing the G Man. There's a, very few things we got to do here. One, we can't be silly with Daniel Jones because for some stupid reason we do that. We did it with Heineke, and we uh, lost. We we're like, oh, it's just Heineke, and yeah. somehow. He brought his team into our house, the only game I got to go to this year, and won. So thank you. Thank you for that, Eagles. You're not allowed to go to any more games. You're not allowed to go to any more games either. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, uh, come on, man. You know, but now we're going against the G-Men. Okay. It's, It's a good, it's a good rivalry. Smaller one, not quite. I know a lot of people are like, hey, what's the bigger rivalry, us and the Giants or us and Dallas? It's us in Dallas. Um, yeah. I, it's still a good rivalry between us and the Giants. Saquon is all. This is a Saquon that is, is more scary than the past couple of years. He's back on his horse. If However, he, plays he might today. not play. If he plays, if he he's plays. a little, little cranked up. And you know what? <laughs> Jordan Davis is playing. Yep. I feel yep. better. Last week, Avani, I think Avani Max, Avante Max is playing. But but Jordan Davis played last week. Yes, and Derrick Henry had a phenomenal, I mean, did not have a phenomenal game. You know what I mean? Like, it was yes. like, oh, my God, Derrick Henry was like, wait, Jordan Davis played. And that, like, I mean, the stats, in my opinion, speak for itself. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, we'll never. We see. We can't do a side-by-side. We can't have them play a second game without Davis and see how it goes. But I have a feeling he played a big role because that's, that's his role. I and mean, we yeah. see how important he is right now. You know, I think uh, that slows him down a little bit. I think we got, you know. I think it might be a bigger battle than, than some people think. What we can't do, okay, I watched this happen last week when, for some reason, the commanders, I guess, don't know what they were doing. They had a play at, like, their own <laughs> six-yard line, yeah. and they decided to not block Kayvon Thibodeau, who is right. easily – I mean, yeah, he started the season injured, but he's easily the Giants' best defensive lineman. And he walked in and just gave Heineke a big old hug and was like, thank you, guys. I love the free sack. You yeah. can't do that. You can't. That's like if you're playing the Niners, you can't let Bosa go free. No. You know, you can't just let their best defensive lineman player tee off on, on your quarterback. Your quarterback. So, so get the linemen, get the you know, get our linemen together. together. I know yeah, last, I know week, last a week, week a lot of the linemen weren't. Oh, hello, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hello. You are you echoing. echoing. Um, 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 all right. Uh, you know, I know last week, I know we had a good game. I don't know, I'm sure you guys probably saw some of the press conferences. My a lot of the other linemen were not happy. Like they're happy they got the win, but the penalties. A lot of penalties were, again. And they were real easy penalties. They were all almost all of them on the O line. Every single player on the <laughs> O line had a penalty. We had like four penalties on the O line the entire season. I think we had like six or seven this last game. Yeah. So we just gotta clean that up, which I'm sure they'll do. We got to not overlook them because, like Miguel said earlier, like you know, you don't want to get yourself into a trap. You know, it, it's it's the Giants, it's Saquon. Let's go in there. Let let's handle business. Let's give the let's have Sanders get some rushes. Maybe Sanders can end the end the day with more rushing yards and Barkley, and say that he's a better Penn State back. I like that. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think. Uh... A well well laid out plan to you know co- you know make make pretend Tibro Tibro what's his name how do you say his name Tibido Tibido is um, Michael Parsons and just take him out of the game make him invisible and it's very doable it's very doable the uh, <laughs> well, I, was, uh, I hate to say I was, it I remember watching him in college I remember watching yeah. him as a freshman come in 
as a freshman, they have to play a few games because like the whole redshirt rule, you're allowed to play a certain amount of time before you break your redshirt. Right. And he came in, uh, and I watched him make some plays, and like, why is he not playing more? Like, well, I think we have that younger. we have that same question to uh, Nicobe Dean. I know. Dean, the we same question. See him play and, ooh, he comes in, uh, 15 snaps, whoa. and leads the team in tackles oh, with 15 that... snaps. Woo! Woo! You ever like? You ever look at your future and feel Looks really good. good all of a sudden? Looks real ooh. good. My oh, our linebacker core makes me. Oh, I've never ever felt this good about our linebackers in my life. This is. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be oh. it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, he gets in more now after what he displayed against the, the problem, Titans. I, I get I get it though because the problem is like who do you rotate out? I don't know. Like Kaiser White's been phenomenal for us. Hassan Reddick has finally been on fire. Edwards is having his best season of his career. He's like, leads. Is, does he, he's leads the? Is he lead the league in tackles uh, for an undra- saw, undrafted so. undrafted linebacker? Yeah. So, you know, it's this game is, you know, a game, of course, has to be, we have to win. The Eagles have to win this game. Uh, they, I think they can handle, as long as they keep Saquon locked up, which looks like they, they could very well do that. Uh, I don't think Danny Dimes can, can beat them. He, his, his passing is, 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 is uh, sus, and uh, I don't really, I'm not threatened by whatever he's going to bring out there. It's uh, it's uh, very fortunate that we played the Tennessee Titans last week because we can take that same game plan that we had to shut down King Henry and use it this, the same way to shut down Saquon because we know Vanilla Vic over there is going to have to beat us. And what more better way to prepare for Chicago than sacking the shit out of Vanilla Vic? You know yeah. what I mean? Justin, Justin Fields is going to give us a headache next week. And, and that game... But not to not to jump forward, but you know this Giants team doesn't really offer much as far as weapons. A lot of their players are hurt, um, but their their coaching staff has been great this year. Um, it's going to be it's a, it's a division game. It's a rivalry, um, so they have something to play for. They're still fighting for their playoff lives as well. So this is going to be a very um, uh, physical game, like it always is. Playing the Giants is never never fun. But um, I think going through last week, we have the 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 blueprint, the game plan to beat these Giants this week. The uh, press conference. I want to play a clip. Uh, they talked to the coach of the Giants. I think Gamble, Gamble, and this is what he had to say about the Eagles. Bring out his on AJ Brown. Whew. Any ideas? He is a. He is a. It's like they got To back there playing again. It's a. He's he's a problem. And you know we went against him when he was in Tennessee, and he's a big physical receiver that you you have to fight every play. I, I told uh, Jerome Henderson if he was a defensive player, he'd be an outside backer. That's how physically he plays at wide receiver. You know I know they're not going to play the Pro Bowl this year, but they're playing it in Philly because they're they're talented across the board. Jalen is. Is, is getting into that level, that top tier quarterback, because uh, you can just see the jump. Uh, we, we went against him his rookie years when he was playing sparingly, and then last year, this past year, he's really worked on uh, his throwing mechanics, his footwork, and it's paying off for him the same way it did for Patrick Mahomes. Uh, so, yeah, there's a take. They, they, they are comparing A.J. Brown to Terrell Owens. They... Um, are comparing Jalen Hurts to Patrick Mahomes. Um, yeah. So that's, you know, they're taking it pretty seriously if they, if those are the names that they're using. Yeah. Uh, but the thing, what do you think? Like Terrell Owens, 2004, or A.J. Brown, 2022? Who's better? Miguel? I let Mark go first. He's got all the stats. <laughs> Mark? Uh, well, I don't have all the stats. I definitely don't have some of the stats from back then at the moment. I have to pull them up. You know, honestly, it's it's a it's an interesting comparison. Yeah. It, it's, it's one of those things where A.J. Brown, 
I'll say he's doing a good season for us. I like it. I like how he's, you know, playing for us. Um, I think he's, he, I think he's got a slight, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this real, real sparingly. I think he's got a slightly more level head than T.O. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> <laughs> they are very similar. They're very much, yo, I'm here. I mean, no one, like, you don't normally come out and say, yo, look, I'm always open. 24 and then, yeah, and then suddenly, <laughs> normally, you, you say something like that, and the world says, mm-mm, you could have enjoyed it, but when you speak it, mm-mm, that's, we're going we're gonna to have to have some issues with you now. And then he comes through and makes some of the catches he's made the past couple weeks where it's like, you know what? Like, he had that catch, uh, was it this last week, the week before, where it, 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 there's nowhere for the ball to be. Yeah. except his like it's just it's there's players on him he's literally being and it's just the balls here and he's just like yeah it's mine i'm yeah, like he's, how yeah, like he's open. how do you that's why he's always open yeah i i mean i'm not gonna argue with him now it's just too many times he's caught the ball i'm like you're not open and he's like i'm open <laughs> like, yes okay <laughs> you know um and, and you know granted when to last played for the birds you know i was a little younger a bit you know, I didn't, I wasn't as stat heavy. I wasn't, you know, like it wasn't for me when the game was on. It was like, all right, the game's on, and I'm outside playing football with my friends. And then I'm watching a little bit, and I'm outside playing. So like, it was a different mentality back then. How how old were you in 2004, Mark? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Oh my, oh my goodness. And in 2004, I didn't even live in Pennsylvania. Oh my wow. god. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what are we doing talking to Mark for? <laughs> what, what are we do talking about him about the 2004 Eagles? I'll say, actually, fun fact about that because of where I live, I don't know if I watch more than maybe half a game that whole season because I didn't have TV wow. out there. <laughs> and the family I was with weren't like the rest of my family. That's how my family is not a sports family. Right. So I probably watched some preseason. <laughs> Miguel, what do you got to no. say? I remember it vividly. Um, I mean, old listen, <laughs> I, there's, there's no denying the impact that T.O. had on that 4 team that when he came onto that team, I was hyped. You know, I remember uh, McNabb like polishing his uh, his shoulder pads as he came into yeah. the league, came into the Eagles. And it, it was just it was a it was a pairing that everybody dreamt of, of, of having, cause you know, we, we dealt with a couple years of having Stinkston and, um, thrash, thrash and, uh, <laughs> I forget some of the other receivers there at the time, but we dealt Freddy. with so many mediocre receivers that when T.O. came to, came to the Eagles, it was just, everybody felt the immediately shift in power in the league, you know, it did. It and did. At, although we were excited to have AJ Brown, um, nobody, I don't think anybody foresaw, foresaw any of what's going on this season between, um, Hertz and, um, AJ Brown, that connection, nobody, we all knew that they were friends in the beginning and stuff like that, but nobody could predict. Well, this. I wish I had a connection with you, Miguel, but the biggest, <laughs> the biggest, there we go. There we go. There's the, audio. The, two, the biggest difference between the two is that, um, AJ Brown is an, um, an attention getter. He goes out there, he plays the game. He does what he's supposed to do. He celebrates, and then he, he goes back onto the sideline. You don't really hear from him again until he, go, he goes out back on the field. Whereas T.O., he's scoring, and he's chirping the rest of the game. You know what I mean? And 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 becomes a distraction. Yeah. And that's the that's the biggest thing that I think separates A.J. from T.O. Is that right. A.J. Brown isn't a distraction. He's there with a team mentality. He's there to dominate whoever he's against, and then he goes back in the sideline, focuses on what he needs to focus on, and we get we we wait for the next series. So, so in that turn, I give the I tip my cap, my cap to AJ Brown for being the better receiver. Better, so, the I'll better receiver. You, okay, all right. I'll, I'll give you this. Uh, so while you're talking, doing your thing, I lost audio. I thought you you had lost audio. That was on me. There's a few things to go over. Okay, a few things statistically. To go. I'm gonna pull up the stats here for us. Here we for go. For one, for one, both pretty similar seasons so far. Okay. T.O., granted, end of the season. Now, granted, they did have one less game. End of the season, 1,200 yards receiving, 14 touchdowns, 59 for the longest reception. 
Right now, we're looking at A.J. Brown has 950 yards receiving, so he would need to have some really good games um, to catch up like pretty quickly, but it's not. I don't think it's out of the realm that he doesn't surpass some of that, that yard. It's pretty, pretty you know, doable. Uh, nine touchdowns to 14, so five more on the season. It's, you know, we'll see. There's a possibility. You know, like I said, uh, 54 is a long. The biggest difference you mentioned earlier with, with Pinkerton, the other receivers on the field. Stinkerton. You know. We got the, the next number one receiver on the Eagles in 2004 was yeah. Brian Westbrook. Yeah. He's a, so, he, was a, he, was a, he was a Swiss Army knife. I say, don't get me wrong. As much as I didn't get to see that much season, don't, 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 don't forego this. I'm, I, I didn't know the team. Okay. Westbrook, love Westbrook. Okay. Much respect to all he did there. Looking at our team, though, of course, we got Devonta Smith. Currently, he's injured, but we have Dallas Goddard. You know, Kez Watkins, and you know, you still have Miles Sanders, who is not nearly near, doing nearly as much in passing as he has in the past. He's always a threat. Still gets the ball. Still gets the plays. You know, we got we got to, we got a little bit more of sharing the load than we did uh, did, did that time. Yes. I mean, that yeah. year. Uh, there's there's more playmakers on this on this team on than to 2014. There's more people who are capable of taking over a game. Not that was not the case back in 2004. Right. Yeah. There's definitely there's definitely a lot more support. Cause you got you you didn't have a Devontae Smith on the other side. Nope. No, you didn't have Goddard. Nope. So Brett, here's Brett my he, here's mm-hmm. my final take on that. Then is that as much as right now, obviously, I'm very hyped on AJ Brown and what he's done, and he is facing you know, best top corners, and he's proven it very well. To on the other hand pretty much lived in a double team world that season had to have There's no yeah. one else to cover. So we got to see how the season pans out. I think that career wise, they both had, you know, are going to end up having phenomenal careers. And Gage Brown's got a good, good, you know, lifespan ahead of him here in the, in the league, hopefully with the birds. And uh, I think it's, I think it's a valid comparison. They're similar play style. Um, I know, like I said earlier, T.O. might have a slightly bigger head, a little bit more verbal. But at the same time, A.J. Brown's not the quietest receiver. He's gotten a few penalties for celebrations already. He's just had a recently, few conversations just, in the media. Just recently got another another fine just now. Yeah, and you know what? If he continues to play well and continues to do stuff like that, you might see more and more T.O. comparisons before the season's over. <laughs> right, yeah. He's been, he's so, been fined uh, twice now for his celebrations. And I swear... A few years from now, he ends up leaving us and goes to a team down south. We might have a different T.O. conversation. For sure. For sure. Overall, you know, though, I get it. You know, the reason why T.O. Uh, wasn't a forever 49er because he wanted too much money. He, they didn't want to sign him, so they tried to send him to Baltimore. That was the original thing. Ball, he was going to go to Baltimore. And then somehow the Eagles swooped in, and they got him. And it was the same thing that happened with you know, with AJ Brown coming in. It changed. It elevated the talent in the room. You know, it was more like, all right, we got a big time prime receiver here who drops the ball when he's running with it, just like To did. To dropped the ball when he was running with the ball too, just like just like AJ Brown. He, they, there is a lot of comparisons you can put between these two receivers, and also you got to remember To is a Hall of Famer, so. The, you're you're comparing AJ Brown, who's only been in the year the league for three years, four years, to a Hall of Famer. That's that's a big a jump right there. And so, uh, is he To? No, he's not To. He's very different than To. And I think I like him more than I do To because he's less of a distraction. Mm-hmm. Less of a distraction. Unlike who the Eagles have been trying, who've been connected to. Odell Beckham. I'm uh, speaking of distractions. Mm-hmm. There's been talks. He 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 went and talked with the Giants last week, and then he went uh, down to Dallas and went to a Mavericks game, and they were chanting his name at the Mavericks game, Odell Odell, and now he's been linked to the Eagles. Uh, my first reaction was, no, thank you, no, thank you. He's played. Maybe forty healthy games. He's caught, you know. He he's made a career over like off of like these these two catches he's made and a pass he's made. I don't see him as a threat. He doesn't add. I think he just subtracts from a game. He doesn't add to a team. 
He subtracts from a team. Uh, I know you. I don't know. I know Miguel. You're probably you're definitely out on it, Odell. Mark, I'm not sure where you're at with Odell. Let's uh, let's go with Miguel first. Where, yeah. What do you, what do you uh, think, Miguel? Nah, I definitely was out on Odell. Like like you said, he he's a distraction. He's a diva. And, you know, a lot of people that I uh, talked to about it, they were like, oh, he wasn't a distraction in L.A. Well, he was a, he was only in L.A. for, what, eight games? He yeah. wasn't there for very long, and then he got hurt. Yeah. So, you know, at what point does he come into this team and start being a diva? I want the ball. You know what I mean? And I that's the biggest thing. Like, you cannot ruin chemistry right now. Like, this team is – pumping on all cylinders the last thing you want is somebody to come into that locker room and start asking for the ball consistently when we have playmakers already on that side like you're coming in to play a role we're not you're not here to be the star plus he wants he wants a longer contract like i'm not willing to pay him that that much money to come in here for four years and 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 ruin this chemistry like he's not even ready to play like dallas didn't didn't want him because jerry jones wanted him to played this week and they were like right. no he won't be ready to about week 16 maybe yeah. maybe ready for the playoffs possibility next season so you know i we don't need him next season we need him this season like we can pick up somebody in the draft like we have the number four pick right now in the draft thank you saints appreciate <laughs> that up, <laughs> but you know if we need another playmaker we're, we have the, the capabilities of drafting someone that's not going to be a distraction so no to Odell. No Odell. No. Big Mark, Instagram user number four. I'm okay if Odell Beckham goes to the Giants, goes to the Cowboys, and wants to have, throw some throw some baloney in their locker room. Right. But uh, I don't want him there. I don't want him there. There's no need. I mean, we literally no. just got done talking about how we have a player being compared to a Hall of Fame player, and we didn't even decide. Like we haven't even touched base on the fact that Devonta Smith sitting there second on our roster already who could pretty much be a starting receiver in most teams I, I, you know he's just getting into his group as well like no because Watkins is doing just fine when he's not in. you know we got when Goddard comes back we'll have Goddard back you know we got you know even Zach Pascal has, has had a few good plays here or there when he's out there we don't we don't need an Odell we know this is this is not what we need right now again it's one of those I said earlier don't rock the boat you know yeah don't rock We're, the boat we're eleven and one after today. Twelve and one, and you want? I don't like. Why would you want to bring in, you know, a player like that? You know, I was I was hesitant on Sue, and Sue is quieter now than he was when he was younger. Yeah, he knows his role. Like both of the Lionel Joseph and him have been on record saying that we know our roles. We know what we're supposed to be doing here. So I don't think Odell that's, that's would know important. his role. I think Odell yeah. would be like, hey, guys, this is the Odell show. Like, throw, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. Yeah. Yeah, he no, do, he was that. doing that in L.A. He just he was saying, throw me the ball in L.A. And those eight games he played, he was like, throw yeah. me the ball. Throw me the ball. Like, you had far more receivers better than – Cooper Cup is far more better receiver than Odell Beckham. Uh, there's a There was a person on Instagram that uh, I put you know, I wrote on someone's page, you know, no thanks. Don't want Odell. Don't want his baggage. You can keep him. And he said, "This guy goes, what baggage?" I was like, uh, "He's constantly hurt. He he brings drama to a uh, to the uh, to the locker room. He he warrants too much media attention. He's played like forty healthy games, maybe all of that. And he's like, he's hurt. What are you talking about? He goes, he's here for the playoff push." Attention, I don't know. He goes, I don't know, but Philly is a big football market, and all we ask for S is for fans with passion. And he goes, dude is a weapon when healthy. Right, right, when healthy. That that's if you have to say that, that means he is hurt. He is yeah. hurt. And he goes, I bet you were on the uh the on the board of bringing the D Jacks back. No, I was not on board. I don't I don't want D Jackson back. I wanted it's, him back. Special teams only, though. But special teams only. But that was not going to happen. And he's yeah. look, he got hurt anyway. He got hurt in the in. in so pe- people are out there who think that this Odell Beckham is this great receiver that uh, he needs to be on your team to go to the Super Bowl. He was on the he was on the Rams. So that was his first ever Super Bowl. Like it's not like he's been on a team. He was on the Browns, and what did he do with the Browns? He got hurt. You know, yeah. it was supposed to be 
Baker and Jarvis Landry and 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 Odell Beckham. That was like the, the next coming right there. And what did they do? Nothing. Nothing. And it definitely I mean, it wasn't was, Baker. It was the Brown. I mean, it was the Brown. <laughs> but it wasn't Baker. You saw what Baker did last week against the uh, yeah. against the Raiders. Oh, poor Raiders, man. Big Baker Mayfield said, "My career is not over yet. It is not." <laughs> There's Baker. <laughs> Baker Mayfield on hey, the on the, maybe, on the inc- maybe you need Odell back in LA and Baker and, and him can work together on researching their careers. I doubt yeah. that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's highly doubtable, bro. Yeah, right. That's never gonna happen. Uh, so that, that that's I think I think it's well I think it's it's a, a subject that needs to be closed. No thank you on Odell Beckham, pretty much. We'll pass. Thank you. Pass. Good luck. Yes. Uh, yeah. So another comparison, I don't know if we, we want to talk about it, is that they're comparing the 2017 Super Bowl team with this year's team. Uh, you know, this that's a, it's a great comparison. It's a, it's a, they, they are two different kinds of teams I, I, at this point in the time. Uh, they have a healthy quarterback. They don't have a back, backup quarterback. Uh, they have two great receivers. Uh there, it's a it's a different team. Uh, I think the comparison can be made after they win the Super Bowl, and I think people need to pump the brakes here and, and, and stop with this comparison with the Super Bowl team. It's just going to throw jinx on it. I'm big on the jinx. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. Can we just please stop it? <laughs> yeah, like I said last week, let's let's simmer down on the Super Bowl talk, Philadelphia team, uh, Philadelphia fans. Like, come on. One game at a time. Let's get to the playoffs first. Let's see how everything pans out. Like, let's not throw us in the Super Bowl because we've seen what ha- what's happened in the past with trying to visualize will them in the Super Bowl without will having it. trying to will yeah. it. Like we we end up with heartbreak, and I, I I have felt too many years of those Eagles heartbreaks, and I don't want to feel them no more. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm done no. with it. I want to feel this, like, although I've been very warm on the Eagles this year, but that's because of what we've dealt with in the past with the Eagles teams. Yes. So, although I, I'm hoping that we get to the Super Bowl, I'm not saying that it's automatic. Any win or victory is not saying, oh, we're winning the Super Bowl. We're not. I'm not sounding like a Cowboys fan. I'm not doing I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure you bleep that out. <laughs> Jaguars. Jaguars fan, right? Always, always. Jaguars. Always. You more week. You more week. Duval. You know, we're here. Two more weeks, and we'll and we'll we can t- we're going to talk to Nat. He'll be on the podcast, and I can't wait to hear what he has to say about Dak, because it was last week. You know, last week, it, last time we faced him, it was Cooper Rush, and it was like uh, Cooper Rush is it. Cooper Rush is it. And Eagles dismantled them, and it was like, well, Cooper Rush is a backup. You know, you can't you can't put it on that. I'm like, oh, okay. So, all right, whatever. It's just. It's always excuses with the, with that. So, sure is. Uh, so this yeah. week, Giants. Let's do our predictions. predictions. Uh, we were pretty close last week. Where uh, I think Miguel, I think everybody says something about ten points each. We were pretty close with that. So, where we? I don't know. We're gonna. I see. <laughs> I Mark said ten. Mark said ten. I said seven. You, Miguel, you said twenty three. Yeah. Uh. But we were off by points for the Eagles. So where are we now? What are we going to be this week? All right. Miguel, what do you think? Um, well, the blueprint was set last week against the Titans, like I said earlier in the pod. Um, I think we come out and play that same physical run-stopping game and force a Vanilla Vic to, to throw the ball. <laughs> um, so I'm going to predict a 42-17 to Eagles win. I think it's going to be another blowout. Wait, I, hold on. What did you say? What did you say? Forty-two to seventeen. Right. Wow. Wow. That might be our biggest prediction yet this year. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I. 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 I, I wow. I can't wait to I, write this I down. Don't, I don't see how this this Giants team does anything to to put points on the board against us. The way that we shut down. Um, Tennessee last week, who is a division leader, like you said, and yeah. they they had they had struggles. And this Dallas team, I mean, who's going to beat us? Galloway? I mean, he's playing left bench right now. Like <laughs> Galloway isn't catching anything but a cold. Um, <laughs> you know, so 
I just don't see anybody that's going to put points on the board unless we we beat ourselves, unless we, you know, start this game off with penalties like we did last week when we just shot ourselves in the foot constantly. There's, I don't think there's any way that this Giants team does anything to put. I like it. I like it. I like those positivity from you. Yeah. Mark? You're so, up. So, <laughs> following <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> look, I like the positivity. I love the birds. Obviously, I believe in the birds. Oh, but sometimes I hear people talk and I go, oh, oh. Ah, you're asking for karma, and I'm not a fan of that. So, <laughs> you no, know, look, I, I, I think, I think that uh, Sanders, Barkley, Barkley Sanders, the two that combined wish they were Barry Sanders, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna have a nice friendly match. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy a good day. Yes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to okay, some some old old Philadelphia brain up here. Run okay. the ball. <laughs> Run the ball. Run the not ball. not even gonna go there. Not even gonna say that. I'm gonna say Eagles 17, Cowboys 10. Cowboy, Cowboys Cowboys. Heard. Giants, Giants. 10. We, we want to play the Cowboys. We want to play the Cowboys so badly. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. All right. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna keep it down in, in the brain. We're gonna seventeen woo, ten. Simmer it. Simmer it. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, Gardner Johnson's not gonna get a pick because he can't play because you know the world the world's not fun when you hurt your kidney. Uh, the <laughs> NFL no. Pro Bowl thinks that the leading in uh, for player with interception shouldn't be allowed in the Pro Bowl because you know. But you know what? When you're in the Super Bowl, you don't participate in the Pro Bowl anyway. So doesn't matter, I get right? It. I get it. You know what, Pro Bowl team, you can go. anyway. Um, we're gonna have a good game, nice clean game. Maybe see a little more Dean. Yes. I feel like I feel like AJ Brown wants another touchdown this week, but I feel like Devonta Smith's got one in the bag, and I feel like uh, I feel like Sanders got one in the bag. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's how we're feeling right now. I like that positivity, positivity too. Uh, you know, Miguel's forty-two points. That means Jalen Hurts is getting a lot of lot of throws, possibly, and I need that for my fantasy team. So I'll go with that kind of feeling because it's playoff time in fantasy football. It's playoff time. Run the ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have now squeaked into the playoffs as the third-ranked team. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow. You're... <laughs> You're welcome. I played. I had such a terrible lineup. My team is so bad right now because everyone's <laughs> out or injured. Right? Yeah, we definitely. I, I realize around the world though that this is a bad. Like we all kind of messed up with the way it's set up because there's still bye weeks now. There is still bye weeks, so it, it's got to be pushed back. Because like I'm looking <laughs> at my team, I've got on my bench. I have one injury and the yep. rest are on bye. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough spot right there. It's a tough spot. Yeah. yeah. So I, I actually have to play Deshaun Watson this week. <laughs> you have to, yeah, because Mario is quarterback. Out. No, yeah, Mario is out. He's, yeah, it's bye week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all those 42 points and uh, hurt Jalen Hurts. So I'm gonna go with a 28-10 pounding of the Giants. Nice. And all four touchdowns uh, go to Stoll. All four, all four, all four go to uh, Cal Katera. All four. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think what is important for this game is that they're going to have to control the ball and hold on to the ball. And I don't know if anybody saw the, the video of the Eagles practicing ball control this week. No. A coach had a boxing glove on, and players would stand in front of him, and he would punch the ball with the boxing glove, trying to knock the ball out. They're, they're, that's a concern for the Eagles. They've been dropping the ball a lot, and, and more than you know, maybe not a lot, but more to my enough, not enough, too much for me. Uh, so I think that's going to be that's a concern. I think they they've they're going to address that, and uh, no fumbles this week. I'm going to that, say that no fumbles. That's a great thing though, because as it gets colder, that ball gets a little bit more difficult to hold on to. Yeah, so that and ball it's gonna gets be cold today. Bit, we're gonna yeah, it's going to be cold. 
I'm, I heard uh, this morning uh, snow flurries possible later on in the day. Yeah, I just got uh, a, a notification. It said light witchery mix today. Right. So, so you know, that's got to you know, be a focus. When, you know, that, you know that's yeah. got to be something that they have to focus on for the. For and the, when it's a wintry mix, what do you do when it's a wintry mix? Throw the ball. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> no, run, it's the run. opposite. You run <laughs> the ball. You run the ball. You run the ball. Let's run the ball, boy. Run it. Run, run it. Game. <laughs> run it. Um, yeah. So oh. you know the the this the man simulation was all birds. They I think the Giants scored seven points. It was it was a dismantling of them. So, oh, so they proved my point, is what you're saying. Yes, they proved your point. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. I'm telling you, so, the, the Madden simulations have not been off that much. No, they have not. They have not been off too much. I guess, Didn't they have see, us the, win a game like 56 to like nothing on a team that we ended up like barely winning? It was the Cowboys game. They beat the Cowboys 30, oh. uh, 30, 56 to 7, I think it was. Right. That was pretty close. That's pretty close. Yeah. I'll take that. I think <laughs> the closest games were uh, the Steelers game was a close one, and the Titans game was was close. Those were, those were off simulations. But all the other ones seemed pretty accurate. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm at, we're we're in for a good game. I'm, it's always going a good game. It's a division game. Uh, Giants, Facts. Eagles, always going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited to watch it. We watch it with the Giants fan. I'm sure he'll get a little bit little takes on the on the podcast, the post podcast. We'll see. Hopefully, it's I go to his house and it's a, an Eagles win. I can't go to his house for any, a Giants win. That, that's no, not no, right. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. No, no. What's what's you guys' uh, favorite Giants Eagles moment? Well, you know, recently it's the metal, you know, metal miracle of the Meadowlands too, when Deshaun Jackson ran back the punt, and yeah. uh, and 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 uh, what's his name, Tom Coughlin came running on the field to just chew out his punter. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah, that was. Why did you kick it to him? <laughs> yeah, why, why, why did you just kick it out of bounds, guy? He kicks it right to him, right, right. to him. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, you got you got to know not to do that. And you know what? I'll bet they all have that problem today. I'll be honest. No, I don't think at one point they're be like, "Hey, don't punt it to Kobe or you know whoever's back there for us." They'll be like, yeah. "It doesn't doesn't matter. Just punt the ball. They're special punt teams the, ball. the worst unit." Now, now, granted, they had a good special teams returns on that's last it. Sunday against the Titans. They had a hundred return yards. That was best a good special move. teams performance sure. all season. Uh, yeah. yeah. I need to see a, I need to see, I see a repeat of performance uh, this say, week. Covey, Covey runs a touchdown back this week. Oh, wow. return. Wow. That's yeah. that's that's a yeah. hard, that's a tall yeah. task right there. That's yeah. a tall task. Mark's thinking about it. Hey, no, 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 no. Nope. I'm not. I'm thinking more like, <laughs> how much do I want to make this bet right now? Because like, <laughs> I feel like if that happens, like. That that's a that is its own miracle right there. You know, he if he runs oh, the ball back more than thirty yards, that's. I hey, mean, he ran it back quite a quite a lot Sunday. Maybe he's got, he, he's finally play? turned the corner there. He's maybe he can actually, uh, you know, t- take one take one to the house as they say. I mean, I'm not going to be upset if he does. I'm just. Mm. <laughs> On a side note, a little, little touch on our fantasy league real quick. I just want to make a m- comment here. For Let's hear it. Four okay. weeks ago. So I was, mm-hmm. I, I'm in the same division as Mike here. Yes. Four weeks ago. Okay. I was six and t- three. Six and three. And number one in the division. Yes. At that time, Mike was two and six. Yes. Since then, <laughs> I am seven and six, and second in the division. Yes. To Mike's now seven and six, with the tiebreaker advantage of having more points. That's right. Boom! Snuck in right there. I hate fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I was crushing that lead. Everyone you were. Bro, I was like, yes. Yes, you no. were. Uh, and then the, the tides have changed, my friend. The tides have changed. I am the, I believe I'm the lowest ranked player in the playoffs right now. Are you the 10th seed or the 8th seed? I You're think I am. Seed. Because because you passed me, I believe that I am going to be, let me see here. La- the, the start of last week, I was the ninth seed. I won and jumped to third. 
Yes, and now I'm the eighth seed. Yeah. <laughs> Playing against, you know, number one, ten and number three, one. who already has 22 points yeah. from the Thursday. From game. Thursday. Granted, also, this will make you feel good, too. He has never played fantasy football ever. Oh, wow. Ever. And he's. And I was talking to him. He's like, I'm taking it seriously. I'm like, yeah, you are. You're 10-3. and three. You took it very seriously. And now he's yeah. going to take Mark out. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm not the best part. Oh, set. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, set. I'm, I'm, not set. I'm not looking too good either after what David Carter fucking did on <laughs> Now you got to. You know why? Because... You know what? Joe Mixon said he's not done. He's not going to have one five-touchdown game. He's going to have two this season. And yeah. Now, sweet. let me tell you how much I hate Joe Mixon. Uh, Mix, I, Mixon was questionable on the week, uh, not, not last week, the week before. And I left him in the, my lineup. And guess what? He didn't play. And guess what? I lost by point four points. Oh. Point four points. Points. If I had put in his replacement, I would have beaten the best team in the league, in Miguel's league. The best team. And, of course, now I am 2-11. and 11. And the one week that you and I played, that you were crushing me. And then Joe Killing Mixon it. said, no win. Oh, I no hate win Joe Mixon. for you. I hate Joe Mixon. Come on, Joe Mixon. Give <laughs> me to the promised land. Damn it, Joe. I tried to offer him in trade. You didn't want him. I'm glad him. I did it. I'm glad. I'm but, okay with uh, Lavarius, Lavarius Murphy, what, uh, Murray. Murray, Latavius yeah. Murray, Latavius Murray. <laughs> oh my God, I'm butchering the names here. Latavius hey. Murray and uh, and some uh, some other guy, Dorman from the Carolina Panthers. I'm okay with it because I got I got DK and I got uh, AJ and, yeah. and 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 Adam Thielen. When I from thank you from from you, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, as soon as I gave him, we started to have. We yeah, started to play some football. I traded. Yeah, there's that. I, tra- there's I that. traded Mark Teddy Bridgewater for Adam, for Adam Thielen, and then Bridgewater gets hurt. And he's out for the rear. <laughs> and Thielen starts having a game. Yeah, that's just how it goes. That's, that's how, how it goes. goes. That's I, how I it offer goes. a Mixon for Herbert, and then great, he doesn't take the trade, but Mixon then gets hurt. Yeah, yeah. That's just how it goes. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's that's that's. I tried to get him back for it. Didn't go my way. No. Thinking, I just want a little side transition. I know we talk about the birds, but a little thing I like to just a little touch to touch on today. Okay, today we get to see a clash of two quarterbacks from a draft class that have been compared from the moment the draft happened. We have Tua facing it off against Justin Herbert. Oh, that's gonna be a good game. Now, I'm a bit of a Herbert fan, as you guys know. Yes. I don't think this is going to go his way. He doesn't have the team around him. He is so lacking in player talent around him. If they win this game, it'll be one of the biggest disappointments uh, for the entire Miami team this season. After what they've been able to accomplish, Tua has one loss on his record this whole year. Um, They've looked great. He's got good weapons. But there's been that side-by-side comparison from the get-go, you know, especially over the first few years, Miami not doing well, but oh, well, Tua clearly wasn't the right choice. Herbert's done very well with very little. You know, what could we have had? Now this year, of course, Tua, like I said, is, is doing very well. He's got a very good team around him. He's got a better coach than he's ever had. But I'm interested to see it play out. I I, I, I don't think it's going to go the Chargers' way. I think Miami just has too many weapons, but I think it's going to be a fun game to look at, and I think it's going to lead to a lot more conversation because uh they're both kind of due for contracts yeah and who do we have that's due for a contract and remember his performance is not doing both of them so if both of them get a decent paycheck what are we shelling out yeah they're predicting this, quite a bit for him it might hurt yeah a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I the know, thing is it like, might yeah uh, well you know just to to end that 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 part you like we still have another year before we have to give him give him a, con- a contract. So I think, I don't think they do it this year. I think I they might. I, I mean, I think I they might. I think you do it if you win the Super Bowl. Yeah, or I, at I least think you do or it. Or at least don't. get into the Super Bowl. I don't think because a lot of people are comparing him to uh, Mahomes. A lot of the talk has been Mahomes, between him and Mahomes this year. So yeah. if you're comparing him to, him to Mahomes, if a lot of people are comparing him to Mahomes, he's going to want a Mahomes type contract. Yeah, that's a, a huge. You know what I mean? 
That's the franchise so, contract right there. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot of goddamn money. He's <laughs> he just signed for what ten years? Yeah, over forever. like yeah, yeah like four hundred thousand, uh, four hundred million dollars, something like that. I, I don't remember what the contract numbers are, but four hundred and fifty million dollars for seven years or something like that. Yeah, it, it's a ridiculous a big price. number. I mean, and the worst part is that I, I think we might we might get. I, I hate to say it. We might see a slight change because, you know, with uh, Lamar Jackson not signing, trying to have a better year, the year hasn't gone well, the numbers might not come in for him. He might sign at a number he didn't want event originally, and sure. that might help kind of regulate the market a little bit because he's still treated as an elite quarterback, which I'm not saying he's not. He's an MVP but that quarterback. Might help keep, exactly. So that might help keep the numbers a little lower if the Ravens win that, that argument. Yeah. But at the same time, there's a few teams out there this past year that might be looking for a quarterback and he might, you know, find some more money in a, in a more, you know, desperate immunity. Right. I could see the Texans wanting to upgrade. Yeah. Tonight. And they have a lot of money. I'm sure. I could see LA wanting to upgrade. Uh, LA. I don't think LA has the, the cap space, <clears throat> all those players that they signed to win that Super Bowl run. They got at least they're, two to three more years before they develop any type of. of they've of, got sorry. Baker now, so you're they're good. They <laughs> <Baker>. <laughs> nah. but you know, similar to that conversation that, that you were talking about of Herbert and Tua. Um, funny, I was getting um a sandwich from Primos the other day, and a and a guy saw me wearing my shirt, and he was like, "I got a prediction for you." He's uh, like, "The Super Bowl is going to be Dolphins, Eagles, Tua versus Hurt, Hurts." Whew battling for it to see who was really better on, on that Alabama team. Oh, wow. So I told you about Eagles, the problem Dolphins? with that game, right? Oh, man. I told you about the problem with that game. What's the problem? So my best friends and I agreed, okay, to go to the next Eagles Super Bowl. But yeah. one of my best friends is a Dolphins fan who said oh. he's going to the next Dolphins Super Bowl. Mm. Now, of those friends, one of them just had a baby. Mm. I just changed jobs, and the other one's in the process of trying to buy a home. Yeah, that's uh, not a good I combination right there. I mean, just sell I your want to have, on the, I, on the I black market. Have to be I, I'd say I, I want to have to get a loan and go to this 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 Super Bowl. Who that would be a hell of a game. Just start an yeah, OnlyFans be... page, Mark. You'd be all right. Oh. <laughs> I got you. Feet, feet. There you go. Feet picks, yeah, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's who. Uh, but here, here's another thing going off on that though. Okay, let's say let's say that is how it ends, and let's say we win it. And so obviously, I want us to win it. So now you got an issue, okay, when it comes to money, because now Tua is probably going to see a pretty fat check come his way for making him that far in one season with a new coach. Yeah, okay? which is going to up the value of Hertz. And even though Herbert is not going to make it, didn't have the season I was hoping to. Obviously, I'm keeping tabs. The amount of records that man has, he is about to surpass a Marino record that stood for some time that Marino had, had pretty pretty good, pretty good solid numbers there to, to make that record. It was, I think it's the most touchdowns in the first three seasons of their career. Right. He's one away. Which he'll probably get that. He'll probably beat that. I, I mean, I'm looking at the fact there's still, what, four more games this season. Four more games, yeah. He he really should <clears throat> still make that, right? Yeah. He should surpass this. That'll be another record. And like, look, again, like it's weird because I'm seeing some that are like some news articles like here says why Justin Herbert's really gonna get paid this season. Another one says maybe he's not all he's cracked up to be. And I look at it side by side, like one is showing like, hey, he has had to deal with a bunch of garbage and he has like 15 NFL records. Like yeah. career NFL records that you know at the time is looking, I mean, when Mahomes was breaking records, we we're like, dude, that's insane. Rookies haven't been this good in forever. And he is literally going down the list. It's like Mahomes records and Herbert's just stepping on them with a much less team, with a much lesser coach. He's going to get paid. Two yeah. is going to get paid. And we here, and, and again, I'm pointing this out because of this main reason. Hertz is one year younger. Hertz yeah. is well, actually not even younger. He's just one year, you know, just younger draft for eligibility. Yeah. That <laughs> these two guys are going to be a big factor in how much Hertz 
hurts our our, our wallets here, my man. <laughs> right, and yeah. uh, they better build I, that bigger wrong. stadium. They better build that bigger stadium to be able to pay off all these guys that they're going to have to pay because yeah, a lot of contracts are going to come up. Because uh, obviously, if he keeps playing like this, you want to keep him. You yeah, know? I want to keep him now. And uh, you know, you're going to have to pay Smith. I, yeah. I I hate to say it. I think you were right earlier, Miguel. I don't. I don't know if we keep Sanders as much as I want him. I think yeah. we, I think I think he's doing great for us. It's proven when he wasn't in what happens. But uh, yeah, I'm I think it's it's proven the fact that you can just put a serviceable running back back there uh, and still get the job done as long as you have the the the, the, the weapons necessary. Like. Yeah. Let's we'll see if Boston Scott can uh you know, he usually just chews up the Giants. So let's see what he can do today against the Giants. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah that's funny too. Yeah. I forgot that uh Saquon's playing for a contract this year too. Yes he is. So and this is the battle of the contract <laughs> running backs. As, as There's a lot of running backs up, out there. I mean, Grant, they're they're both statistically doing well. I pulled that up earlier. Josh they're Jacobs is the number one running back in the league, and he's he's and this is his contract year as well. Yeah, I was just about to say that. You just took that the words out of my mouth. I I, I saw somebody that that was posting um, get rid of Sanders and bring in Josh Jacobs next year. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna cost you a, a nice penny though too. So I don't. Yes, I don't know if I, I think Sanders might be easier on the wallet. Yeah, right. the Howie Roseman is in the in this train of thought where he you don't put a lot of money into your running back and you just draft them and run them into the ground and then and move on. So I hate to say that's my same philosophy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how that's, I'm that's what happens. That's that, what man. happens. That's what I do in Madden as well. Uh, I run and, for like fifteen, sixteen hundred yards. I'm like, you're done. I can I need I can get another guy. Yep, your backup is ready to go. Mm-hmm. I agree. So yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting off season. I'm I'm excited to talk about it. Uh, there's going to be there's tons of tons of time for us to really debate over what to do with Miles Sanders. Yeah, I was going to say we got time. We, we got, got time. We got time. I do want to throw yeah. one more Another thing side out that I forgot. Little side, well, I think it's deserved to be said. What is it? The Heisman Trophy was announced. Yeah. USC. USC. Yeah. Pulled out a pretty crazy upset because beginning of the season it was. It was C.J. Stroud and Young, the only two real options. Okay, right. a little bit, a little bit of pull from Georgia, and Lincoln Riley has now coached three quarterbacks in six years to a Heisman. Wow. Now, in overall standings, USC now stands alone with the most Heisman players at eight. In the Heisman record book, they're tied with seven because they have they disallowed Reggie Bush. Reggie Heisman, Bushes, yeah. Which at this point in the world, I'm sorry, I feel like you have to go back and reinstate that because now yep. there's NIL deals everywhere. And the amount he made compared to the way players being make money now is nothing. Yeah, I, I mean, come on, you got right. it. Clearly, didn't affect him playing. He still played phenomenally in college. Yeah, but the way the NCAA works, they will never do that. They they, they will not they right. will not admit that they were wrong. No, but I will say, uh, surprise and shock, Caleb Williams comes out doing well. Now he's a sophomore, so yeah. he's a, still a college player. So I'm wondering in my head, does this hurt Stroud and Young's NFL, you know, prospects? Uh, and do some teams go, hmm, maybe we wait another year if you have a manageable quarterback situation? Right. Do you wait another season and try to draft Williams? Should he come out? So there's a few. Not to continue few the, the college talk, but I feel like Bryce Young is uh, overrated. To be honest, I mean, Alabama. Alabama, Alabama quarterback. Yeah, I think he's overrated. <laughs> I is, really is it just me or Mac Jones uh, is soft? You ever see how he just folds when the when the pocket guy like, closes up on him? Is that yeah. something he did in Alabama, or did he learn that in Alabama? Because he doesn't. I don't think he learned what a pocket closing felt like in Alabama. Yeah, that's, that's why. Mind. That's why they don't do well. I mean, you play on a team where it's like, hey, hand the ball to a player like Derrick Henry. Or you throw it up. Think about this, okay? You throw the ball up in Bama just a, a year or so ago, or two years ago. Waddle. And you look at you look at the players trying to catch that at the time. You yeah. had Jerry Judy. You had Devonta Smith. You had uh, was, uh, Ruggs. Huh? huh? Was the Waddle out there too? Jalen Waddle. Waddle. Like we, you just all you gotta do is you know, uh, hey someone the ball's in the air. Uh, someone yeah. gonna get it. You know, like. You don't gotta ever worry about coverage. You don't gotta worry about getting sacked. You walk away with the cleanest looking jersey with 
you know, a championship ring, maybe just like, Oh, we're just having football. Yeah. Not it just looks like he doesn't know how to get hit. It just looks like he is afraid to get hit every single time he gets hit. It's weird. It's doesn't look like a normal kind of quarterback, especially when he got hurt. It looked like he, like his leg got broke off, but it was like a high ankle. It was like a sprained ankle or something. And I think what you're seeing now, if you look right now in the NFL, if you're looking at all the quarterbacks that have come out of those, uh, particularly Alabama, the only two right now that I think are having real success are Tua, who, you know, had to go through some hell years, a new coach, a whole world, like, hating on him, and, and maybe some overcoming of adversity. And Hurts, who literally left the schools. I'm done this. Went to Lincoln Riley, who just, as I mentioned before, coached third Heisman quarterback. The guy yeah. knows what he's doing with quarterbacks. Hurts took it in his ear, listened, came here had some growing pains, had fans like me not trust him, not believe in him, and then said, I got you. Get on my back. We're going to Arizona. Yeah. He okay. said, believe in me. <laughs> believe in him. It's him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I say, my pronouns might be he, him, but uh, I'm not him. Hurts is him. <laughs> Hurts is him. He, him. You're right. He, him, win. He, him, he, him win. Let's talk about that. He, him, win. He, him, like shirt. win. And you know what? For the Cowboys. That does sound like a shirt. It's going to hurt. <laughs> and for the Giants, it's going to hurt. And next <laughs> time we gonna... play the goddamn commander, it's going to hurt. <laughs> now, the uh, the this whole story is that the la- what his last loss you know, before the commanders won was against the Giants in that uh, close game. So... He's going to want some uh, some revenge that, game here. That's been that's been a lot of talk this week is how he how bad he plays against division opponents versus right. how he plays against everybody else. So, you know, Hertz has something to prove this week as right. well. And I, like, and I hope and I hopefully he will prove something. And four hundred yards. I'll take four hundred yards. I'll take a whole bunch of stuff from him that. today. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take a good, you know, solid game. Honestly, it's just you know a nice complete game. There's deep points. Like just, last I week, some fantasy all points. around. Every, every, all three facets of the game played perfectly last week. Special teams, defense, yeah. offense. Like we looked at, we looked at amazing last week. So I, I feel like we, we we're going to ride that wave from last week. And you yeah, know what it excited. Is. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's a uh, fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles score, fly. Sounds like you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a yes, day, and I'm. You know, like I said, I think Devonta Smith's got it in him today. No. It might be a Boston Scott day, but I feel like it's Boston, a Boston Scott day. day. Calcaterra day. Calcaterra day. No, nah, and for Miguel, it's a Covey day. Covey it's Covey. I was going to say, Covey, say, Covey day. Covey's gonna return a punt. or going to return a kickoff. He's just going to be special I'm, teams all day long. I'm putting money down on the special teams return. Draft all right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right, we're putting a five dollar bet down on for an opening touchdown. He has here coming. it is. All right, all right, that'll do it for us. Enjoy the game, and uh, let's we'll see you on the post game show. Fly Eagles, fly! Go Birds! E A G L E S Eagles. Eagles.